Hey guys, happy Sunday. Giving it a few minutes here. Give it a few minutes for folks to join. Uh, this gorgeous Sunday. I don't know where all the thunderstorms went, but it's pretty beautiful out. The sun is shining. Uh, the skies are blue. I think I just heard thunder. Well, there's that. I jinxed it. Um, yeah. So thanks for joining. I'm having some technical difficulties with my phone, my laptop. Everything's going wrong here. Uh, my phone's doing some kind of weird thing where my face is shining uh, like a globe of some sort. So, hi everyone. I hope you were able to get out and enjoy some beautiful sunshine today. Um, I actually did get out to um, Highland Park Reservoir, I took the dogs, um, and it totally transformed my day. It was exactly uh, what my soul needed. Um, for those that uh, were on last night, I had kind of a rough day yesterday, and I shared about it. Um, hi guys, hi Mary Jo, Karen, Kara, hi ladies. Um, so I had a bit of a rough day yesterday and I shared about it in the live feed and the amount of support, um, the outpouring of support from our community was pretty overwhelming. Um, you guys definitely showed up for me. Um, I have other things going on in the background. You guys definitely showed up for me um, and I thank you so very much because you really um, changed my day. Um, so... I'm doing better today, uh, connecting with my wonderful support network, um, and it's really been a gift. I, getting outside, I can't um, say it enough, has really um, just lifted my spirit. Being in the sun, hanging with the dogs has been um, pretty powerful today. Um, and I was thinking about um, perseverance. You know, that's sort of the word that pops into my mind, and it's been popping into my mind lately and talking about uh, living in gratitude. Um, I'm so grateful for um, my perseverance, our community's perseverance, um, for all of us showing up for one another, you know, getting through some really hard times, um, connecting in all these new ways, even when we don't always want to. Um, you know, yesterday I isolated uh, pretty much all day. Um, I didn't really answer messages earlier on. I didn't reach out. I didn't call. I just wanted to kind of sit in it. Um, and the perseverance and that gift of recovery um, is that although we feel down at times, although we have good days and bad days, um, and I hate using those words because it's it, it uh, labels, right? It passes judgment onto the day. It's good or bad. Um, so if you had a productive day or a happy day or if you had a day that could use some improvement um, or a day that had a lot of learning opportunities, uh, it's okay to, um, to be you, right? And it's okay to not um, have to pick up drugs or alcohol over it. And I think that's, right, it talks to the perseverance um, of recovery and of our community. So today... Um, I wanted to share something with you from a book that I've been reading. It won't be a book reading, but there's just a couple of things I underlined. The book is called uh, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. And um, a friend of mine gave me this book for my six-year anniversary, actually. And I am just absolutely in love and captivated. Um, to give you a little background, um, Viktor Frankl is a Holocaust survivor. He's written many incredible books. Um, this particular book is just so powerful. He chronicles his experience in uh, concentration camps and his search for meeting. Um, and to think about someone sharing their experience um, on finding meaning through this incredibly devastating experience um, of being in a concentration camp and surviving concentration camps and he was in Auschwitz and a lot of other really bad places. Um, so in the very forward, the first page in his book, um, I was blown away. Um, he, uh, the words he quotes is Nietzsche. 
Um, and what he says is, he who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. Um, and that speaks to purpose. It speaks to our collective purpose, to our individual purpose, our perseverance, um, having the why. Um, I, I've said that in one of my other chats, like, what is your why? Why do you get up in the morning? Why do you work as hard as you do? Why do you, um, you know, fight as hard as you do? And having that why, you could bear anyhow, right? So we don't have to pick up drugs and alcohol, unhealthy behaviors. We don't have to do any of those things. Um, we could be, we could just be, right? And he talks about some of the other uh, prisoners. I'm just reading out of the book a little bit. Um, he says, they died less from lack of food or medicine than from lack of hope, lack of something to live for. Um, and that's such a powerful statement because we've talked about that. You know, without hope, what do we have? Um, what is there, right? Where there is breath, there is hope. Um, and there is so much hope in recovery and there's so much hope in the people um, of recovery, of the recovery community, and each and every one of you. I, I always say we're in recovery from something. Sometimes I think uh, I sound like a broken record, but I can't um, stress it enough. You know, we're, we're community. Um, and he also, Frankel's concern is less with the question of why most died than it is with the question of why any anyone at all survived. Right? And talks about perspective um, in such challenging times, you know, questioning why, both in addiction with, with what's going on today, you know, why do some people make it and others don't? I was really stuck in that yesterday. Uh, why do some people stay in recovery and others continue to struggle? Um, and he talks about not, you know, like there's not really purpose in asking yourself why someone isn't doing what they're doing. Um, focusing on the, the sad, the more negative pieces, but instead really focusing on um, those that do make it. You know, what do they do? How do they practice um, and work their recovery? I'm going to get some barks now because there's a dog passing by and my dogs are making my life unmanageable. Uh, she's being good. Um, so he talks more about... Um, Life is not primarily a quest for pleasure, as Freud believed, or a quest for power, as Alfred Adler taught, but a quest for meaning. And he, uh, Frankel, saw three possible sources for meaning. In work, doing something significant. In love, caring for another person. And in courage during difficult times. And it's our courage during this time. It's our courage during the fight for our lives through recovery um, that really brings so much meaning. Right? He talks about work, um, bringing meaning to someone's life, the amount of time we spent working. Um, if we're going to a job we hate, it really depletes us. It takes away from us. You know, so finding meaning in our work, finding meaning in our relationship, finding meaning in love, right? And it doesn't mean romantic love. It's the love of people, um, the good in the world, love of um, humanity, right? Um, so forces beyond our control can take away everything you possess except one thing, your freedom to choose how, we, how you will respond to the situation. Um, so we could focus on the bad, right? Or we could live in the good. We could be part of the problem, um, which is going out there and not practicing physical distancing, um, social distancing, saying, you know, I, I'm not going to change how I live my life or... I'm not worried about getting sick, right? Things like that. Um, or we could focus on, you know, it's hopeless. Um, people are um, having returned to use or so many people are dying um, from addiction, from everything else, whatever it may be. Or we could respond to the situation and say, like, I choose to do the right thing. Um, I choose to uh, take the recommended precautions. I don't want my selfish, inconsiderate actions to be the cause of someone else's demise, right? Because that's what the social distancing is about. Um, it's not about me so much as it is what my actions do to others. Sorry, my camera's doing weird things where it's shining weird uh, lights everywhere. So if I move, okay, there we go. Another part, um, when you get deeper into the book, um, 
and this was um this had me uh, kind of reflecting on um the people that have uh, gone before us you know those that lost their lives to addiction um those that we miss every day and having a lot of time to ourselves um opens the opportunity to reflect on some of those people, to miss them, to wonder how they're doing. Um, and he talked about this incredible perspective as he's going through the most unimaginable, horrible time of being in a concentration camp. Um, he talks about what gets him through, right? He talks about um, pretty much like visualization, uh, what we mentioned before. So he says, this is what he writes, love goes far beyond the physical person of the beloved. It finds its deepest meaning in his spiritual being, his inner self. Whether or not he's actually present, whether or not he's still alive at all, ceases somehow to be of importance. And he references this to his wife, who was also in a concentration camp, but not in the same one. And he um, didn't know where she was or if she was alive. And he talks about this idea that um, he didn't want to know whether she was dead or alive because to him, the hope of seeing her again was what got him through. Um, and that, that love of people, love of those that we have lost is, goes far deeper than this world. You know, it goes into the spiritual world. Um, and they're, they're present. They're there with us. We're there with them. Um, and it's really a beautiful gift, beautiful gift. Um, it's pretty cool because when I was in Highland Park, I saw um, a cardinal. Um, and I saw one the other week when I had this insane idea about doing something. Maybe I'll share with you guys in, sometime down the road if it actually comes to fruition. But I had this insane idea. And I talked to a few people and they're like, okay. Kind of like when we started recovery, there was this thing about like, mm, that's cute. So in some similarity to that, and I had this conversation, I was fired up and I went outside and I saw a cardinal. For me, um, some of you know um, our friend Pat that passed away a couple months before our center opened. Um, for me, when I see cardinals, I see him and I feel him with me. So it was really significant that I was in that park and it turned my day around and I saw this cardinal and then I was reading through this book and I came across this passage um, not long before I jumped on this uh, feed and it just spoke to me. Um, let's see, and this is another really great part. As the inner life of the prisoner tended to become more intense, he also experienced the beauty of art and nature as never before. Can you imagine that? Um, being in a concentration camp um, and the importance of beauty of art and nature, right? We talk about getting out there. Everyone's been saying, get outside, go for a walk, um, you know, do it safely. Um, under their influence, he sometimes even, he sometimes even forgot his own frightful circumstances. Um, and isn't that such a gift? You know, when it's, it goes back to being mindful, to practicing mindfulness, to being present. When you're in your own funk, you don't notice all the beauty, all the good in the world, right? Because there is so much good in this world. There's so many good people. Um, there are just so many wonderful experiences and opportunities, you know, Blue skies and the sun for me just oh, warm my heart and warm my soul. Um, my puppies do too. You guys are probably tired of uh, hearing that, but um, it really is just so important to be present, um, be mindful, right? Um, and uh, I think I'm doing something with this phone. Sorry, I tapped it and it made circles. Um, and just being grateful, right? Living in gratitude. Um, because it's so easy to focus on the negative. It's so easy to get lost in those dark, sad um, thoughts. Um, and it takes work, right? It takes work to stay in gratitude, to stay positive, to do the right thing. Um, to take responsibility for our actions, right? That's the one thing we could always control is how we react and respond in situations. Um, and we have the power to, uh, to act instead of reacting, right? And that's a pretty beautiful gift. Um, 
So as we wind down the weekend and we look uh, to the start of another week, for some of you that's not terribly different than the weekend, um, for others um, that are working from home or, or um, homeschooling kids, gosh, I couldn't imagine homeschooling kids. I don't have kids, um, so homeschooling scares me. You guys are my heroes for sure. Um, speaking of heroes, because I like to go on tangents, um, but this is an important one. I just want to thank um, all the the um, first responders, um, first um, line of defense, right? All the folks working supermarkets and pharmacies, um, gas stations or mechanics, right? They still stay open. Those doing construction, uh, communications, I know, um, getting green light. Woohoo! And the guys came by to do some um, install wires or whatever. And I kind of opened the door and they were like, no, 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 stay in, like, you know, social distancing. And I just thought about that. How many people don't um, practice, right, or aren't as responsible? And um, what kind of risk these guys put themselves under? You know, it's not, um, yes, absolutely, nurses, medical staff, first responders, without saying they're um, today and always are heroes for sure. But you know, we have these unsung heroes in our community that are providing our basic needs and we need to value them, right? Um, we need to show them our appreciation and our gratitude. Um, Mary Jo, Brody and Hazel are my kids. Brody's tuckered out from the hike. I don't know if you could see him. Hey buddy, hey little wacko. There's this one who just randomly sits on top of my head half the time. Um, but yeah, so live in gratitude. Show, show your appreciation for the people that are um, allowing us to have the opportunities that we have today, the, um, the much needed services, right? Food on our table, um, medications we need, um, the gas in our cars, um, and of course the um, healthcare community, medical staff, the counselors, um, <laughs> um, just live in gratitude. Um, and so I always like to leave with some, with an action, action item. <laughs> Thank you. Um, today I kind of want to do the same thing I did yesterday, um, which is getting outside. I think I do that one every day though, going for a walk, but, um, also practice mindfulness. Sorry to make you dizzy. Um, practice mindfulness, uh, meditation, so really be present. You know, even if you're not going outside, if you look out the window and you look at the clouds or the trees or the grass, or maybe you see people walking outside, um, really, like, I don't know, like, um, take a minute to appreciate it. Um, appreciate humanity. Appreciate the beauty of this world. Um, all the gifts that we have, you know, not everyone gets to look out the window and see, see sun, um, houses, let alone anything positive. You know, there are people living in active war zones. Um, so when you think of those little simple things that we take for granted, um, the freedoms that we have today, the opportunities, the privileges, really, you know, we're so lucky. Um, we're so fortunate. Um, so live in gratitude, um, meditate and uh, reach out um, if there's anything you need that I could help you with if there's any support I could offer please reach out um, myself the recovery family that you're getting to know pretty well in these feeds um, we are just so ready to help I see Mary Jo Brody and Hazel are my kids and you got the insight timer so I'm gonna check that out tonight I went for a walk today oh that's awesome Mary Jo um, I think you'll really like that app, and, and um, Headspace, I think, is the app John mentioned. Um, I'm so glad you got out and went for a walk, and thank you for checking in, reaching out to me last night and checking in. Uh, you and Karen, I don't know if she's on here, um, really uh, showed up for me in uh, more ways than you know. All right, guys, so I'm looking forward to starting the week. Um, looking forward to seeing all of you tomorrow night and hear about your day. Um, give us your feedback, share your thoughts, shoot me a message, um, and stay safe out there, you guys. Lots of love. Bye.